We are just, a lot of people are just hitting 70. Nixium dropped a video about his thoughts on an adventure, on his adventure so far, and the fact that he just hit 70 as well. So let's watch this video real quick, and then we're going to get straight into the game and start doing some mythics. Here we go. I finally hit level 70 in Dragonflight. At last, That's my casual feeling. ass got to level cap, and so today I would like to share with you guys my <laughs> thoughts on the adventure to max level and just, just geek out about this new expansion with you guys for a little bit. So without further ado, let's just fly in and talk about some Dragonflight, shall we? First, before we get That's to the Dragon great. Isles, I do need to talk a little bit about my mindset going into this expansion, what I thought about it, and just... Uh, you know, where I was at at the end of Shadowlands. You were depressed. Admittingly, I was very skeptical of Dragonflight. <laughs> like everyone I had else. played a little bit of the beta, but not that much because I wanted everything to be a surprise for me in Dragonflight. Just like you guys that didn't get into the beta, I, I don't want to spoil everything before I go and undertake the adventure. I might be a content creator, but I'm a fan of the game first, and so I want to True. enjoy the Same. game. Shadowlands that's was not well beta. received at all by the community. There's all the crap that's been happening behind the scenes at Blizzard, and I wasn't sure if they could pull off a very successful expansion in their current climate. I fully intended that I was probably just going to get to level cap in Dragonflight and then just go right back to Wrath of the Lich King. I think and just a lot of people. That. Maybe even not. I saw so I saw Stay Safe release a video yesterday. If you guys know who Stay Safe is, he's another very popular WoW streamer, but mainly he streams classics, and right now he's playing Wrath all the time. Well, he just dropped a video with the same language where he was basically saying, you know, my intention was just kind of level up and then get back out and go back to classic. He's been playing a ton of Dragonflight. He said he was so surprised by how fun it is that he hasn't been able to stop. And I think a lot of classic Andes have been finding that Dragonflight's actually really fun. And where, where they thought they were just going to level up and go back to classic, they're now playing retail. They've become retail Andes. And that just goes to show how much fun this expansion has been get to level cap in Dragonflight and just get bored of it within like maybe half a dozen levels or something. But um, I'm happy to say that was not the case. I am level 70, as the title suggests, and I'm doing heroic dungeons and let's just talk about the journey. Despite being skeptical of the expansion, there was one thing that I was very much excited for and I made a video about it here on this channel. And that was the fact that Dragonflight seemed to be leaning very much on a classical fantasy vibe. There really yeah. was no story. It's just, hey, there's a dragon island. Let's go see what's over there and see what kind of treasures we can find. Oh, yeah, and I think by a lot the of people way, are there's this back. really big dragon and we should probably kill it. They really gave me these sort of Lord of the Rings Hobbit kind of vibes, but I'll talk more about that in a second. So I was really hoping that- Yeah, Shadowlands was too Shadowlandsy. I don't know how to say it, but it wasn't that classic, you know, knight in shining armor, killing a dragon vibe that we love so much from our fantasy games. And it's been a while since we've had that. So I totally agree with him that this was like a return to classic fantasy. Blizzard was going to too really emo, yeah. dive into too the emo. vibe of exploration and discovery with this expansion. And the first thing to say about Dragonflight having gotten to level cap, it's that discovery is the overarching theme of this expansion. Yes, totally and I agree. absolutely love that. Just I like the transmog I just showed you guys, discovery. Like little things are around every corner that you can find. If you're flying around, there's always a new spot to discover and, and, and dig into and see what's around the corner. Love that in any MMO that I have played, but I think this expansion does it perfectly. Let Agreed. me explain what I'm talking about. Once you get to the Dragon Isles, there is so much stuff to discover in this expansion. You've got the dragon riding, all the abilities that you can unlock through it, the time challenges, updated professions, and everything to discover there. The great hunt event, Tuskar Soup. Like, there's so much to discover just in terms of different ways to play the game and different things to do while playing the game. You also, of course, can discover the various factions. I haven't which, done the Tuskar Soup yet. Really I gotta do cool, that. But we only care about the Tuskar here on this channel. We can all agree with that, okay? The Tuskar are the best. This is a good quest line. And of course, there's tons of treasure to find throughout the islands. Explorer packs, the dragon glyphs to upgrade the dragon flying, the little kites that you can untie here and there for an achievement, every flavorful little addition to professions like finding the mining caves. The point is for me, Dragonflight was, it really had this Hobbit vibe to it. I was going to I know a destination, in this case, that. I was trying to get to level 70, 
and I was discovering so much along the way. Just like in the book, you have the Shire, Rivendell, the Goblin Caves, Bayorn's House, the Lonely Mountain. In this case of Dragonflight, it was finding treasure, learning to play the game in new ways, meeting the various factions, upgrading my dragon, etc., and just finding so much new stuff as I leveled up and getting. It's funny, Joshua. My wife said she's making soup today, and I thought of the Tuscar as well. That's it. Tuscar to soup level go 70, hand in hand. At least for me, it, it just opened up the door even more. Like, like it blew my mind all the stuff that there is to do. At There's level a cap. ton like, of it. All the reputation windows alone have so much to unlock. You know, all these little features and changes that will change the game even further. I feel like this expansion is like a giant mountain. Of these cutscenes were masterpieces compared to regular WoW cutscenes. They were so good. The, the, the everything about them from the the way they're animated the look of it all and the stories they were telling were were great Content what a good to campaign climb towards man. and to discover i always felt every time Bring i logged soups. in that there was so much to do and it was great and in the spirit of discovery i have to say that dragonflight has some of the best zones in world of warcraft oh, yeah. at least in my own opinion oh yeah all the zones are absolutely beautiful especially the azure span with the snow and the coastline biome the comfy little tuscar village the rolling so plains the thundering mountains of there this you go. island let's the mythic zero we're gonna do it today are just a sight to behold and the fact that blizzard even put in that scene with look at the scenery is achievement unlocked man this quest was beautiful. Listening to a story quest line, it just shows how much Blizzard loves that was the such environmental a good art of the Isles, and they just want you to take it all in. I also really appreciated how big the Dragon Isles were as I was questing, because when you have a mount that can go up to 850% speed, it's really no surprise that you gotta make the world pretty big. I'm an OG right. MMO player. Like I played Star Wars Galaxies back in the day, like wandering the sands of Tatooine. That was a big MMO, let me tell you what. So I just love big worlds with plenty to discover in them. So the scale of the Dragon Isles, like I think that even after having gone through the entire island, I feel like I've only really explored like 25% of the entire thing, and I've only seen a small piece of it. Yeah. And that feeling alone just inspires me to log on and to play more because- I log in in the afternoons and just fly around sometimes. I just got an achievement yesterday for discovering everything in the Azura span. And I even realized that I hadn't flown all over that place yet. But that's the fun of it all. Dragon riding just makes it fun to log in and just do nothing sometimes. Just fly around. I want to see where the daily quests and the story quests and just all of it, I want to see where it takes me. And that, of course, leads me to talking a little bit more about dragon flying because dragon flying for me it's great. is it's so fresh and it's such a fun feature to play with. It's it's enjoyable just to log on to World of Warcraft, not to do any content, not to do professions, not to do a dungeon, just to fly around. I swear I do not pre-watch these videos. I do not pre-watch these videos, but damn, did I not just say the same thing? It really is that fun. Found on your dragon. I do remember back in the day when that I played so the beta sketchy, a the way little I just bit, said and that. I made that one video talking about the dragon flying feature, and many people were very skeptical about it because it was just this updated way to fly in the game. Like, you know, what's the big deal? I got to play yep, with it a I little bit. I thought the same thing I when they announced it. Was it. Awesome. It's just really cool how everybody now has their hands on this feature and they're really enjoying it. It's like the most beloved feature exactly. in Dragonflight so far. So all the good. dragon customization options to find, the glyphs hidden all around the world. You know, it's kind of like player housing. I really want the black. It. It's what it could be. I want the but black. It's one. just a mount and it can fly at breakneck speeds. You know what I mean? You got like a house What's and up, you Camp find Shade? customization around the world, maybe some hidden stuff like glyphs. It's like player housing, but just a mount. Do, th do this in the future, Blizzard. Bring us player housing and make it like this. Big flying house you know, at breakneck speeds. It'd be great. Maybe don't do that. Flying house would be kind of weird. Unless you're a goblin or a gnome, in which case that is perfectly acceptable. Anyway. I do love all the dragon flying skills throughout this expansion, but I do admit, I wish there was a little bit more, like maybe a basic hover ability, for example. Is there a way to hover in this game? Like, <laughs> is there a way to hover nice. on your dragon mount, just like float in the air? If so, I'm not aware of it. All right. Absolutely love the dungeons while leveling up. My favorite was the Knoll dungeon, just because I like the dark and moody theme, and of course, it's in the Azure span, so. My favorite dungeon is the Algathar Academy. The Hogwarts of WoW, I just love that place. Looks beautiful. The profession updates, oh my goodness, they have been incredible. I, I've They're very, very nice. much, I very, very, very much enjoyed leveling up my professions while getting to 70. In fact, when I got to 70, I actually got to my heroic dungeon item level gear just through crafting alone. And I adore that Damn. fact. I am living the casual dungeoneer crafting lifestyle and it has been awesome. 
And so to bring it full circle, because I don't want this video to be too long, I really can't praise this expansion enough when it comes to its level up. It's experience. a common theme from everybody. Speaking only for myself. It's so I good. I think most of us were very skeptical with this expansion going into it, myself included, as I've already talked about. And getting to the Dragon Isles and just seeing how much love and care and attention was put into this expansion, and just seeing how Blizzard pushed the exploration factor, and you can just so tell good. there's a lot of love. I, I can't tell if everyone's expectations were just so low, and we were so beaten down and left for dead after Shadowlands that anything that wasn't complete shit was going to excite the crap out of us. It's either that, or Dragonflight is just really good. It's just really, really good. Love I think it's this I think it's the There's so much to do and it just was really an enjoyable experience getting to level 70 in this expansion. In fact, in many ways, I would say that I enjoyed getting to 70 in Dragonflight more than I enjoyed getting to 80 in Wrath of the Lich King. And that's saying something. I'm, I'm a it's big probably classic both, fan. Actually. I love Classic <laughs> WoW, but this is fun. And I'm really happy that I, I'm, I'm happy that Blizzard has proved us wrong. I'm a yeah. big fan of the game. I always want it to do well. That's why I criticize it. That's why I like to talk about it. It's why I've been here for so many quest. years on YouTube making content. And this has been probably Such one of quest. the freshest feeling, most fun expansion experiences that I've had getting to max level. So Agreed. those are my thoughts on Dragonflight. Maybe they'll change as I jump into Endgame more. Maybe the Endgame will just completely suck. But I will keep <laughs> you guys updated on not. my opinions as we go along. So... So until that time, stay subscribed, like the video, and if you want to hear some epic gamer noises, then you should watch the video on your screen right now, because for some odd reason, Blizzard decided to send me a box. Yeah. A mystery box. And you're about to find out what's inside. We Thank talked you all about for those. Watching, and I will see you on the Dragon Isles. The creator boxes they sent out, those are very cool. I didn't get one. I guess I'm not cool enough. But anyways, we got shit to do, guys. We got some mythics to run. Let's get into it. The game is in a great place.